Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is adding ones and it is an easy level problem. So the problem is itself fairly simple. They say that we have been given an array of size n. Initially all the elements of the array will be 0 and they will be given k positive integers and we will have to add 1 to all a of i where i is greater than j. So basically if you are adding a 1 to index 1 then including 1 and all the indexes after it should have red 1. So we just did uh, like explain you this particular part with the help of an example and let us see how we can solve this problem. So basically what we have to do is we have been given an array a and we will have to update the array a after performing these k operations right. So let me just explain you this with the help of an example. So if this is the first sample test case. Now let us have an array. So if this is an array, this is an array of size 3 right. So I will just copy it. Let me just create some more copies as well. So if they are of any use later. So initially what we have is let us say all the values are 0. So this value is 0, this value is 0 and this value is 0. Right. Now they say there is an update at index 1. At index 1 means that all the values, all the values starting from index 1 will get updated and one will be, one will be added to all the values. Now we have another update at the same index. So that means all the values starting from this index will get one added to their value. Right. Remember it is all the indexes after that particular index. Now we have an update 2 at index 2. So this will remain as it is but one will be added to this particular index and the, all the indexes after it. Right. Now coming on to this particular part, the last operation is at index 3. So the first index will remain as it is, second index will have 3 and the third index will get added 1 to it. So this will be our final answer. This is our final answer and as you can see this is the same as given here. So this is how you have to like uh, solve this problem. Whenever you are given an index i, for all indexes including i and all the indexes after it up to n, you will have to add 1 to its value. Initially all the ele elements are 0 and you need to have this final array at the end. Right. So how can we actually solve this particular problem? So what we can do is, you must have observed, you must have observed that any value, let us say this particular value, when it comes, it affects all the indexes after it as well. Any value that comes affects all the indexes after this. And if the value comes here, it only affects all the indexes that are present after it. Right. So what we essentially have to do is, if we somehow maintain what is the value that was updated here. right? So let us say a new value came here, then we know that one will be added to all the remaining uh, consecutive elements as well. So let us say we have an array, let us say we call it updates. right? So let me just write it down as updates. So this is an updates array. So this will store, this is going to store what are all the updates that I have. So this is my update array. Now in this particular array, what I will have is whenever there is an update at index 1, so it is at index 1, I will increment this value. right? Now there is an update at index 1 again. So again I will increment this value and instead of 1, it will now become 2. Now I have an update at index 2, so it will update this value. right? Now I have an update at index 3, so it will update this value. So at the end my update array will look something like this. Right. Remember my initial array, my original array still has all the values 0, 0, 0. The original array still has not changed but my update array has all these values that I need to process 2 updates at index 1, I need to process 1 update at index 2 and I need to process 1 update at index 3. Now what happens is I know that I need to process 2 updates at index 1 so let me just create a variable called to add. Right. So this variable will store the value that I need to add to my answer. So if this is my original array with all the zeros, first of all I come to the first position. Right. Now I check what is the value, what is the value that is present at the at this particular index in my updates array. 
right? So it is 2. That means all the values present at this particular index and all the indexes after it should be updated with 2 or 2 should be added to them, right? So this is exactly what I do. I update my 2 add variable and I'll have 2 and I'll save the value of 2 add, right? So this is the final value of this particular position. Now I go to my next position and I see that I need to add 1 to all the values present at this particular index and all the indexes after it. So I see my 2 add value was already 2. Now I need to add 1 more to it so it becomes 3. Now I update this 3 here also. Right. Now I go to the next index in my updates array. This is the next index. I see that 1 is the value that needs to be added to the current value and all the values after it. Right. So what I do, I update this to add value, this particular to add value instead of 3, now it becomes 4. Now I update, I copy this particular to add value to here. So it becomes 4 as well, right? So the core idea is to maintain an update array, to maintain an update array, which will uh, like denote me that at index i, this is the value that you need to add to the current index as well as all the indexes following after it. So I can maintain a to add variable which will store what should be the value at the current index, right? So it will, if I'm in index i, it will already have all the values from index 0 till i minus 1, right? It will be already having all of those values and I add i to it and I update my answer at index i, right? And I can do this for all the indexes, right? So this is as simple as that. Now let us have a look at the code. So what I've done is I've created a simple vector dx of size n comma 0. So this is actually my updates array and they have already named their array updates. So I had to pick a different name, but this is actually the updates array that I was talking about, right? So I'm traversing through all their k operations, right? And since there, there is one based indexing there, I choose to add minus one to it just to make it zero based indexing. And I know like what are the values that I have to add at each index, right? So once I've maintained this particular dx array, I initialize my to add value with zero and I just traverse through my vector since I don't have to return anything, this is the array, integer array, which I have been passed. So since arrays are passed by reference, I can just like update this value and it will get reflected in the or like main code as well. So I just update the to add value with dx of i and I just add this particular value to the original array a, right? So it will automatically get reflected in the main function as well. And this was all about today's problem of the day. I hope that you guys were able to understand the question. And uh, if you've been following me, you would have also that I have uh, like changed my note taking app and this time it was a bit different. So I just thought that this one looked much better. That is why I changed my note taking app. If you found this particular app better, then definitely tell me down in the comments and anything you would like to share, you can write it down in the comments and uh, don't forget to drop a like on this video as your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that it was actually helpful for you and you'll be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So let me just quickly submit it as well so that you can see it. That this particular approach works. Right, so you see that it passes all the test cases and I hope that uh, it was helpful for you. Don't forget to drop a like and do subscribe to this channel. I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. So if you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye-bye.